How many cations are in 2.00 moles of sodium phosphate? A. 0 0.667 moles B. 6.00 moles C. 0 0.500 moles or D. 1.00 moles Subscripts in a formula are also counting numbers. In the case of sodium phosphate, one formula unit of this compound consists of three cations. There are three sodium ions indicated in the formula and one anion. There is one phosphate ion indicated in the formula. Since a mole is just a group count, we can also say that one mole of sodium phosphate is made up of three moles of cations and one mole of anions. Note that the official abbreviation for mole is M-O-L, no E. It should be obvious that the number of formula units and number of ions are directly proportional quantities. When two quantities are directly proportional, the ratio is constant. In other words, we can say that the ratio of the number of cations to the number of formula units is equal to 3 moles of sodium ions to 1 mole of sodium phosphate units. We can rearrange this equation to solve for the moles of cations. Essentially what we end up doing is multiply the given number of sodium phosphate units 2.00 moles by the ratio of 3 moles of sodium ions to 1 mole of sodium phosphate. The ratio serves as a conversion factor. The answer we get should be rounded off to three significant figures since the numbers 3 and 1 in this conversion factor are exact numbers. The least precise term in this calculation is 2.00 which has three significant figures and is equal to 6.00 moles. So the correct answer is B. To summarize, if we want to count ions in an ionic compound, we simply multiply the number of formula units by the subscript of the ion we're interested in. In the case we have here, the number of moles of sodium phosphate is essentially just multiplied by the 3, which is the subscript of sodium, in order to get the number of moles of cations.